I'd like to talk today about the Tarot cards, and I'm going to start with the Major Arcana. This particular card is called the Fool card, and it's considered the zero in the Aleister Crowley Thoth Tarot deck. This is the deck that I love to use when I'm doing readings, and I love to teach Tarot. So let me tell you something about the metaphorical images that are in this card. If you look at this card, you will see that the person in the card is a strong green image. Now, you've got a yellow background with all the white, and the green is showing you that he is about the spring, and he is springing into action. It also shows you that he's related to the heart chakra and about healing. If you look closely at his face, you will see that it looks like he is wide-eyed with wonder. Have you ever been at the edge of a cliff and had a feeling like, wow, what would it be like to fly? Have you ever been bungee jumping or jumped out of a parachute with a parachute out of a plane? Well, if you've ever done that, there's this sense of, oh my gosh, you know, what's going to happen? Total unknown. And yet there's excitement with fear mixed. So whenever someone gets this card, their heart is wide open. They're searching for something that is healing oriented. They're trying to expand into a whole nother domain. They're a little bit scared. They're a little bit excited. And they're going off the cliff of their old reality. What Aleister Crowley did was he took the image of the fool, which normally has him with one foot on a cliff and one foot off a cliff, and he's leaping into the void. But Aleister Crowley actually has this fool card with both of his feet off the cliff. And what that means is that when you decide to take that leap of faith, you're actually already off the cliff. So the cliff represents the old conformity, the old ways of how you think it's supposed to be. The fool is in the air dynamic, which means he's in a whole domain of the mind, the possibilities, the thoughts that go on, and the, the way he wants to become something new. Also, if you look at this card, he has an umbilical cord that is coming out from his heart, and it is pulling him off the cliff. And what is guiding that umbilical cord and pulling him off the cliff is a dove. And the dove represents the Holy Spirit, where your Holy Spirit is actually pulling you off the cliff and saying, come on, let's jump. You're okay. And you really are okay when you get this card, because this card has the alligator goddess down below. And the alligator goddess is an incredible Egyptian myth, because... When an alligator's eggs hatch, the mama puts the babies in her mouth, and then she takes them to the water. She opens her mouth, and the babies run around. And if there's any danger, she slaps her tail, and the babies come running back, and they crawl into her mouth, and she closes her mouth. So would anything actually attack a baby alligator? I don't think so. So when you get the fool card, you're totally safe to take that leap of faith off the cliff. Now, this is temporary protection. Think of it like when you were a teenager and you did some crazy things in your life and you were thinking, oh my gosh, how did I survive that? Well, how you survived it was that you were being the fool card. You were taking a risk and you were jumping. And there's sort of a protection with naivete, and it's because of the alligator goddess. Now, if you also look at this card, You've got uh, fire, which is energy. Um, you've got coins, which look like the um, uh, astrological signs, um, which represent the discs. You've got a fruit, which represents the cups. And again, the fire is with the wands, which is energy. And then you've got the uh, coins, which are representing the discs. So there's, there's all the elements here. You've got earth, air, fire, water, and it's basically saying that the only way to expand in life is to take a risk. The only way to create great money is to take a risk. The only way to find true love is to take a risk. The only way to be inspired is to take a risk.
and the only way to live your dream is to take a risk. So the crystals represent the mind, the, wand, the fire represents the wands, um, and then the discs represent, are represented by the, the coins, and then the, the fruit represents the cups. Now also if you look at this picture, um, there is a butterfly right there. And the butterfly is about transformation and change. And so you're in this process where you're being reborn into a new part of you, a new self of you. You will also see that there is a lion and that lion tiger-ish creature is actually biting the leg of the fool and trying to pull him, drag him back on the cliff. So this is kind of like whenever you've had a great idea and you said to somebody that was your friend, oh, I've got this great idea and I want to do this and this and this. And unfortunately, a lot of times somebody says, oh, that's a stupid idea. Why are you doing that? Don't be foolish, right? And that's because people don't like to take risks and yet life is always about risks and you always have to jump off the cliff. And so don't let something in your life pull you back on the cliff. That's the warning. And just remember, the first step is always a Lulu. So this is the card of new beginnings. This is the card of trust. It's the card of excitement. It's the card of the beginning of the journey of the fool. I hope you enjoyed my description today. Thanks.